In the past, we've been reading about um, the Al Treva wrote a letter to console the Yidin of Tzferia of Eretz Yisrael because of Menachem Mendel of Vitesk, who was great Rebbe, passed away. And he taught us that a tzaddik um, doesn't leave this world. A tzaddik's neshama, um, in fact, remains. In fact, everything really remains, but certainly a tzaddik, uh, his ruach, which is the spirit, which is his love and fear and trust in Hashem, this not only doesn't leave, it gets an ability outside of the body to spread even deeper. And furthermore, as his neshama and all of his Torah and mitzvahs go to Malchus of Atzillus, it draws down the light of Zav Atzillus and it's able to bring down into the world tremendous, um, even though it's quite subconscious, thoughts of tshuva. The more we connect to the tzaddik, the more we love the tzaddik, particularly there has to be this connection the tzaddik is like, uh, because he says in spiritual concepts, or physical concepts, you take two things and put them next to each other, they're close. But when you say people are close to each other, it has nothing to do with proximity. They could be across the world, but they love each other. Oh. So closeness and distance in terms of relationships have nothing to do with proximity. Two people can be close and they hate each other. It has to do, like Dr. Rebbe gives an example, if you have two people and they're facing each other, they're close. They're facing away from each other, they're far. Two people are a thousand miles away, they're, they love each other, they're close. And so love is this glue that brings people together. Um, this is also why it says, There's no greater way of serving Hashem like the service of love. Because if you're loving Hashem, that means you're close to Him. If you're just fearing Him, it means, even though you have to have respect, which is the highest level, but it means in a certain sense that you are worried about yourself, you're not worried about him. Okay, so now in today's time, the al Rebbe wrote a letter to his, what we call a shvagar, his, um, his, uh, uh, his, or sorry, mechutin. His mechutin was Reb Levi Yitzchak Barditchev. They had grandchildren that married. That was the Zhlob and Achasna, the very famous massive wedding. And what happened was, unfortunately, Reb Levi Yitzchak's son, the tzaddik Reb Meir, passed away. So he wrote a letter to be Menachem Avolhim. And he says like this, he says that it says that the passing of a tzaddik is similar or something like it's mechaper, it does an atonement like the mechatos, like the para aduma. So he says, what's the story with the para aduma? What kind of a atonement does it create? So um, it's a little bit of a longer letter. I don't remember all the details, but just one point that I want to focus on. He says like this, that what the mechatos does is it gives us from the chachma ilah, the supernal wisdom. So when you have to fix up things in this world, you have klippa. Now, klippa is very, very good at what it does. So for example, Judah Lazarus was telling me this the other day. He says, you know, like the problem with a country like, uh, in a certain sense, Israel, America, is that when you're strong, often you rely on your strength. So you say, oh, whatever I want, I'll just pound this guy. But meanwhile, the enemy... He's always thinking, where's the weak spot? And he's got always thinking. So it's not so simple. A person has to always be vigilant, be alert. So when you're coming to the Yetzirah in terms of logic, logical world, so the Yetzirah, he's, he's better, even though your logic is stronger, he's better at convincing what's, how you should behave. But if you're coming from the supernal wisdom, the, the, the revelation of Hashem, then he doesn't stand a chance. And so this is the vart that we have to be connected to, and this is the whole idea of Mashiach, where it's the revelation of the, you know, the essence of Hashem, which is really beyond intelligence. It's beyond intelligence that comes into intelligence. Um, I, I saw or I heard that there's a saying that a chassid is gvul, a rebbe, oh, sorry, a tzaddik is bligvul, without limit, and a rebbe is bligvul in gvul. That's the ultimate. So your Hashem himself is beyond reality, but he's also within reality at the same time. So accessing that point is what's called Masamal Eni can kind of blind the klippa because you're 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 access that's the whole point of Chsidis. You're accessing a wisdom which is already beyond wisdom, and therefore the the secular wisdom or the, the klippa wisdom can get you and you can live, you can always be uh, Shalom Aleichem, welcome. You can always be on the right path. L'chaim v'levrocha!